Hello friends, Kisan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the pending default methods in a map interface. So there are a lot of default methods have been added in the JDK 1.6. So we had discussed some of them and there are some of the methods which are left still. So let's go to the map interface and press Ctrl O to list out all methods. So wherever you saw, see the small sign as a D, so these are the default methods. So we have seen some, these are the methods we have already seen in the previous videos. So um, now I'm going to look into the method is called remove. So in this video tutorial, we'll see remove, replace, and there is two overloaded replace methods. So these are the three methods I'm going to talk about. So let's go to the remove method first. So remove method basically takes key and value, right? And basically this removes, I mean, uh, current entry from the uh, map. So if particular key is associated with a particular value and this key value matches from the existing map, then that will be removed. If that removes successfully, that, then that returns true, else this will return you false. So that's all about uh, this method saying that removes the entry for the specified key only if it is currently mapped to the specified values right so this is pretty straightforward so let's try to make use this method i would say remove and so i was talking about this remove method which first suppose i'm passing key as 10 and value as just i would like to remove this method this entry and we were supposed to specify as a string and let's see what is returned by this remove method now if you try to print it then see what is getting printed so we are expecting to be printed as a true right so this entry have been removed and if you try to iterate after removing this element if you try to iterate this uh, map using for each loop right so for each loop accepts by consumer as a uh, argument and now k is stands for key and b is stands for values so let's write a lambda expression for this and here you can print key, key as well as value in this map right so if i try after removing this entry if you try to print then only you will get the two entries right so you'll get so if there is some compilation issue <coughs> so i don't know why this guy is throwing compilation issue so k and v is there right okay same will not be there See if I try to execute, then we get the value uh, two entries, right? So one entry we have deleted, right? Uh, second entry we have deleted, so we got the first and second, first and third entry, right? So that's all about the uh, remove method, right? If any of like if key matches and if I say value, I'm going to change, so this is not going to remove, right? These two things should match, right? So here 10 is associated with the author B, but here uh, I'm trying to remove the elements which, uh, ha, which is having a key as a 10, but value is, uh, I mean, author B 100. So this will return you false, and this entry is not available uh, in the map. So uh, elements is not removing, right? And that's why this is returning true, uh, false, right? So I hope you understood. So I'm going to undo right so i hope this is pretty straightforward if key and value both are matching then entry will remove from the map now next uh, method we are going to look that is a uh, replace so let's look into that method so this is a map and we call a method is called if you look into the list then after 
uh, replace we have a sorry after remove uh, we have a uh, lot of methods like uh, go to the map and press control shift o so we have a remove after that we have a replace which accepts three parameters so three parameter look at first parameter is the key second parameter is the old value and second parameter is the new value right so if you try to replace with uh, old value with new value right for uh, a, speci a specified key then this if this operation happens successfully then this is going to return you true as this, that will return you false so that's all about uh, this method if you look into the documentation saying that replaces the entry for the specified key only if currently mapped to the specified value so let's try to make use of this method i'd say replace uh, replace which is which is accepting three parameters so right so key i'm gonna specify it like 30 sorry 30 and old value i'm going to specify author c all right so yeah author c right and going to assign a new value author d right so if you see return type of this method is boolean itself so if this operation happens successfully right if your map existing map contains a, a this entry means a entry with key value as a 39 author as a uh, well, uh, key as a 30 and value as a author c this entry exists in the database i mean uh, map then that will uh, that value will be replaced by the author d and after that if you try to iterate this map then i mean value corresponding to key 30 would be author c so if i try to run it then see so i mean key uh, entry which, which is having a key 30 is replaced with the author d so i hope you understood it's pretty simple uh, and if you go to the java doc then java doc clearly says what uh, i have shown you in example right so this is added in jdk 1.8 now in, in, we have another replace method right which which is accepting which is accepting uh, two arguments right so if you look into the next api in this list so map dot replace another replace method which who accept two parameter right say key and value right so key i'm going to specify like 20 so say 20 and value i'm going to specify author x right and this guy is going to return you now a string means this will return you the i think old value so if you look into the api and uh, look at the return type the previous value associated with the specified key so if you look into the return type if uh, already a entry exists with the key 20 and having value something else right so previous old value is author a so here author a will be returned if uh, map does not contain any elements with this key in this map then this is going to return you what so if does not contain uh, you can look, at, look at here a previous value associated with the specified key or null if there was no mapping for the key if there is no uh, value exists correspond to this key then that will return you null so in this case this is going to return you uh, author a itself right so if i run it then this is returning author a right and 20 will be replaced by 
author x right but if i can show you if uh, let's see replace 3 replace 3 and i'm going to specify key as a 200 so this key is doesn't exist in this map right and so this will return you the null itself right so if you see the last sop then this is returning over the null itself so i hope you understood how to make use of the remove and replace method so there are two overloaded uh, replace method right so first overloaded method is the first the key and this is old value and this is the new value right so this entry matches in the map then that value will be replaced with the uh, new value right and one replace another replace method is accepts to key and value right so key is the that will search for this key in this map if that exists then that will be replaced with the new value uh, and that old value will be returned to you right so if this key does not exist at all in this map then null value will be, it will be returned to you so i hope you understood uh, these two api uh, which is in map uh, interface which is defined as a default method so this code i'm going to upload the uh, upload on the github so that you can download and uh, github location i'm going to specify in the bottom of the uh, video description itself and in next video tutorial i'm going to discuss about the remaining the default methods so there are still four remaining methods right compute if absent compute if present compute and merge so these are the method i'm going to discuss about uh, in next video series so please be with me over there thanks for watching this video